Hi, I'm Matthew Moskoviak, Senior Associate Editor at CNET.com, and we're here with the Denon AVR 1911. This is Denon's mid-range AV receiver for 2010, and it's currently selling for about $600 online. The design is similar to previous Denon models with a matte black finish and a subtle curve towards the top of the front panel. The front panel is also dominated by the LCD display in the center, and in the lower right there's an extra AV input and a USB input. The USB input is iPod and iPhone compatible, so you won't need to buy a separate dock to listen to your iPod. Now the iPod functionality is great, but Denon's text-based graphical user interface holds it back a little bit. The interface features only basic white text and no album art, which looks really outdated on a modern HDTV. You'll also be using the same menus for the initial setup process. Now Denon has completely redesigned their AV receiver mode this year, and the new model is much better than the old one. The awkward flip-down door on the back is gone, and there's a much more straightforward design that's easier to use. Around back, you'll notice that Denon's back panel is pretty sparse. There are four HDMI inputs, which is adequate, but many competitors are offering six at this price level. On the upside, the AVR 1911 supports many new HDMI 1.4 features, including 3D video pass-through and audio return channel. It also has standby pass-through, which allows the receiver to continue passing HDMI video signals even when it's turned off. You can see the rest of the connectivity is also lean with just a single component video connection and two digital audio inputs. The one surprise feature on the Denon is its built-in HD radio tuner, which no other receiver has at this price level. Now many people have moved on from terrestrial radio to online streaming services like Pandora or Rhapsody, but if you still like your radio over the air, you won't need to buy a separate HD radio tuner with the Denon. Sound quality on the Denon was outstanding. We put the Denon head to head with other excellent sounding AV receivers such as the Marantz NR1601 and the Pioneer VSX 1020-K and the Denon was a notch above its competitors. It didn't matter whether we listened to music or movies, the Denon was the best sounding mid-range AV receiver we've heard this year. So overall the bottom line is that the Denon AVR 1911 is more expensive than competitors and it doesn't offer quite as many features but its outstanding sound quality is the best we've heard this year. I'm Matthew Muscoviak from CNET.com and this is the Denon AVR 1911. Hey guys, Brian Tong here and if you're looking to see the top dogs in tech face off then you need to watch CNET's prize fight. We'll throw touchscreen phones in the ring, reignite the console wars, battle web browsers, and more. So you can find it all at cnet.com slash prizefight. And I'll see you there. Woo-ha!